All right, new product, which I'm excited about. Uh, this is the M18 version of the tire inflator. The M12, I think is still good, but doing the M12 and trying to fill up some wild peaks and 37s, uh, it's just not practical. And so this is great for throwing in your trunk and bringing with you and you know, if you're going on a trip or something, but it's, uh, it's just, it just isn't really designed for that. I use this, believe it or not, for filling up volleyballs most often. You know, Michelle coaches, and so uh, she'll get you know a dozen or two dozen balls at a time. And so I use this for inflating that or the, in, in, the inevitable unicorn raft, you know, that lasts like a weekend uh, at a, in the pool at our house for our kids. Uh, so this is great for filling up basketballs and things like that. But it's extremely compact and you know, useful in a pinch. But generally speaking. I'm not going to go and grab this to fill up my Raptor tires. And so, hence Milwaukee creating an M18 version. Now, I think because of how the motor works in this, it's not technically a fuel product. I don't think you'd really need a fuel product for, for this, you know, this application. So I think we're, we're safe to just, uh, you know, call this a base Milwaukee. So nifty little handle. Certainly, this is something you could very easily throw in your trunk. Uh, throw in your, uh, your your sort of spare area, like think about like a Tesla, and you pop the little thing up, you throw it in the, in the back area. It's got little grippy feet on it, which will keep it from sliding around. But this is truly something you could take with you, and uh, and if you did end up with uh, a situation where you know you had a nail in your tire, you could se seriously use this on not not only your M3. We'll test it on my M3 over there but also a larger, you know, these are 37 by 12 and a halfs, and um, you, could, you could use it to, uh, to fill up the tire. I haven't checked the, uh, the pressures on these in the while, and so now would be a good time to go around and just, just bring them up to, to, to spec. Uh, Michelle drives this thing quite a bit, and I had it in here to detail it, so I figured we'd grab one of these machines. I haven't used this yet. This is my first use. I know all the, all the guys here have, have used it and, and tested it out and they really like it. So uh, I, wanted to, um, I wanted to give it a, a whirl here today. So batteries, uh, this doesn't come as a kit. So you can't buy it as a package, at least not yet. It's a tool only. Uh, so it's a two zero SKU. Uh, and so this, uh, the SKU, the way SKUs work at Milwaukee is this is a 2848. Dash two zero. If they ever come out with a dash two two, then it you know would have two batteries or a dash two one. Uh, but this one comes batteryless, uh, and so you have to pick your battery. My inclination is to say I would want a XC six point zero. You know the most common Milwaukee M eighteen battery is the XC five point zero. Um, this uh, uses uh, what are they called? 18650s, and these are 21 whatevers. I always forget the nomenclature of the bigger, uh, the bigger LED or uh, not LED, uh, the bigger uh, lithium ion um, um, uh, batteries. But the I think the sweet spot for something like this is the XC 6.0. So they make a 5.0, 6.0, 8.0, 9.0, and 12.0. Uh, they also make a, a 2.0, 2.5, and 3.0. Uh, and so there are basically two types of, of Milwaukee batteries. There's the standard version, and there's the high output, uh, high output version, which uses the, gosh, I can't remember the name. The name. It's 21-something. The bigger uh, lithium-ion um, cartridges or lithium-ion, whatever you call little batteries that are little cylinders that go in here. So I think the sweet spot in, in Milwaukee in high output batteries is the 3.0s and the 6.0s. And part of the reason for that is they sell the 3.0s and 6.0s in a two pack. Um, I, I would prefer they did that in the 8.0s, the 8 but the price point, uh, I would highly suggest you stay 6.0. I've noticed very little difference between the 8 amp hour and the 6 amp hour batteries in capability and the longevity and how long they last. So I would say a 6.0 is probably the way to go. But the nice thing about the way they designed this is this is their biggest battery, the HD 12.0, at least in the, you know, the red lithium line. I could fit an HD 12.0 in there if I wanted to. So if I knew I was taking a long trip, I could grab my 12.0s that I have for my table saw or my chop saw, and I could grab these and throw it in here. This is a $200 battery, uh, but I could use this puppy, and it will accept that. But I could still run my standard, you know, my standard 5.0s and be fine. So I think what we'll do right now, let's run it, 
So that's a fully charged battery. Uh, let's run it on this 5.0 and make sure we can kind of go around. I'd be interested to see, can I go around and top off all my Raptor tires and, uh, and get this thing, you know, get this, just get this thing dialed in. Because most of the time, for most of us, you're just kind of topping off, checking your tire pressures and topping them off from, you know, weather changes and things like that. And so maybe you don't even need an air compressor. Like I don't intend to put a compressor in at my house, at this house. And so I'd love to have this. That way I don't have to drive over to H here to HQ to use my air compressor if I wanted to just top off my tires. So let's check our pressure here and compare. I want to see the gauge on this. I want to see how accurate. So this is an analog PCL gauge. I, we sell these. I like this thing. It's a nice little gauge. It's not, it's like eight bucks or something like that, but it's a nice, decent quality gauge that, you know, doesn't cost a lot that I have in most of my cars in the, um, in the glove box. So we are at just shy of 35 PSI. Yeah, we're at like 34 PSI, something like that is where the tire is. I like to run these at 40 because Michelle's driving around on the, on the road everywhere. And so in the back here, you've got your needle for filling up volleyballs and basketballs. You've got your Schrader depressed a valve um, uh, adapter for filling up bike tires, which is cool. You've got your uh, unicorn and uh, you know, and uh, rafts for your inner tube, your uh, inner tube filler, the little attachment there for your pool toys. And then you have your normal screw on chuck here for your normal tires. I like that it's screw on. That way I don't have to fight it. So this is saying 33 and a half. I said it was 34, so I'd say this is probably more accurate. So now the question is, uh, how do I choose? I want it to go to 40 PSI. Okay, so I can set my, you see that there, Mike? I'm gonna set my thing. I'm just guessing. I haven't read the instructions or watched any videos. So I want it to go to 40 PSI, and then I would think that would just hit this. <laughs> That's pretty sick. It's um you know, it's moderately loud. You can hear it versus my voice. It probably sounds really loud on camera because I've got the microphone right over top of it, but if I came out over here and I talk to you while it's on. go 40. I think that's the only disadvantage to a screw on chuck is that you do let some air out. So let's check it here with this puppy. It's uh, you know, right at 40 psi. It's pretty cool. Let's see what our battery says. Still says fully charged. So let me pop around the whole truck and I'll do all the tires and then um, I'll let you know what the battery status looks like. All right, that took, uh, what, four minutes or so to do all, all four tires, bring them all up to speed. They were all between 34 and 35 and a half PSI to bring them all up to standard 40. And uh, I'm still showing four bars on my battery. So I would think, and I, and I had, this battery hasn't been charged in a long time, just sitting there charged it at four bars so it probably wasn't even fully topped off and so i would say you could take a 5.0 or 6.0 battery on a trip and they probably only need one of them let's hit up uh, my m3 wheels here just do one of these real quick lee 32 and a half <laughs> So if you're not filling up a, a lot of air or a monster tire, this thing, I bet you could, I bet you could do 20 cars with one freaking battery. That's awesome. How do we do this? Just like that. That's incredible. 
Yeah, people. I want it. Oh, I already have it. But you want it. <laughs> yeah, I think we have these in stock, don't we? They're in the store. They're pre-order. So I, I think that, but they're shipping here shortly. So I think they're due in the next couple of weeks. But we have a giant order in this. Even if I think you have, the, you're probably gonna take your M12 and sell it. This is the one you want. This is awesome. Because now you have a fully functioning tool that I can use on truck tires, car tires, use it to travel, use it in a garage where I don't have an air compressor. This is awesome. So that's the M12, the new M12 tire inflator from Milwaukee, model number 2848-20. Absolutely amazing. Check it out in the store uh, for pricing. I don't know what it costs, but whatever it is, it's worth it. Uh, I don't quote pricing in these videos because these videos last forever, and uh, I'm sure there's gonna be price increases on everything in this world by the time you watch this thing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. It really does help me if you buy this stuff from me. So go to obsessedgarage.com and get yourself one of these, or tell somebody you want this for your birthday or Easter or Christmas or something like that. It's freaking awesome. Thanks for watching.